Hello everyone, this is Texan Productions, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to edit your singing vocals. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is uh, after you have your singing vocal, so I'll just play this. Uh, you want to start applying the effects. So the first effect I'm going to add is normalize. And what that does is it takes the highest peak. So um, the highest peak is like right here. And it boosts it to whatever percentage you set it to. So I have set it to 98.5. Or you can set it to 97.5 or 95.5. Anywhere around that is pretty good. And what that does is it takes the highest peak and set it to this value. So it makes it louder. And while it's doing that, it also makes the rest of the peak, it also expands the rest of the peak. So it's basically like adjusting the gain or the volume. So we'll, we'll apply that and you can see that it's much louder now. <laughs> Second effect that we're going to add is um, single band compressor. And what this allows you to do is to set, set the threshold of uh, the audio that you want to edit. So the threshold is set, set to negative 9, so it only affects all the waveform that are above negative 9. So anywhere above negative 9, all these peaks above negative 9 will be affected. And I have the ratio set to 5 to 1, which means the um, any volume above negative 9 decibels will be uh, shrunk down to the ratio of 5 to 1. And if you have a louder spike, it'll, it'll shrink more, basically. So we're going to apply that. And you can see it looks cleaner now. So it prevents the, um, the per person who's listening to this having to constantly adjust the volume up and down since everything is much more smooth now. Uh, the second effect that we're going to add is de -esser. And what this allows, what, what this does is it gets rid of all the S and the F sound in a singing recording that could mess up the vocals. So we're going to use the preset de which works pretty well. And these are just the frequency of where the S and F sounds are, and it just gets rid of it. So we'll apply that, and let's listen to this. <laughs> All right, that should sound cleaner. Now the second of the uh, the third effect, third effect, yeah, the third effect I'm gonna add is a multi-band compressor, and we're gonna use the preset raised vocals. This basically makes it louder and sound clearer. So let's listen to it without. Alright, now the second effect that we're going to add is parametric equalizer. Well, the se second effect in this um, in the effect rack is the parametric equalizer. Now, gives you a frequency, I mean, gives you a chart of all the frequencies, and you can either boost the frequency or lower it. So the first thing that we're going to do is to set our range to 30 decibels so we can see more of what we're working with. Um, the first effect uh, the first effect I'm going to do is a high pass filter. And only do this to singing vocals. Basically, in a singing vocals, uh, you have those low frequencies of the vocals that you don't really want. That doesn't sound really good. So we can easily get rid of them by using a, a high pass filter. Now the difficult part is how much of the high pass filter do you want to apply? Like I can apply a lot like this, or I can apply a little. So what you want to do is you want to play through the audio and adjust this. And right when you start to hear a small difference, you want to go back a little bit, and that's where um, you want to start adjusting. So I'll tell you, I I'll show you guys, I'll show you guys what this means. So let's start. <laughs> 
如梦一场，我又何必把泪都锁在自己的眼眶？让你，我又何必把泪都锁在自己的眼眶？让你。So over here sounds really good. Where when I go a little bit further, I can start to hear a little difference. So you want to move back. So that's pretty good. All right, and then the second thing that I'm gonna do is increase the higher frequencies. Boost the high frequencies, I meant, and to about 10 decibels. Now this is gonna sound much more um, clear. It adds like warmth and things like that. So let's listen to this. Without. So it's not very large difference, but it's a, it's definitely a subtle difference, and it will make it will make your vocal sound better. Now the second thing I'm gonna do, I mean the third thing I'm gonna do in the parametric equalizer is the sweeping technique, where you take one of those points, so I'll take number one, and you boost the frequencies while the audio is playing, and whichever frequency sounds pretty bad, you decrease the frequency. I mean you, yeah, you decrease it. So let's listen to this. So this frequency sounds really bad. Um, it starts to clip, so we're gonna decrease a little bit of that. You don't want to decrease too much, or else your vocals will sound weird. So let's do that again to the second point. Right here is where it also clips. I'll decrease a little bit of that. And let's listen to this. So, to the shit, the young, rumong each, and you heard me ballet, do so, tai, tsi, chi, the yen quang. And the rest sound, the rest of the audio sounds pretty good. So, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna boost the bass a little bit. So, I'll take four and sort of like boost it a little bit. So, to the shit, to try and get the effect that I'm looking for. Now the reason I boost the bass is because this song has, you know, a lot of bass to it, so it really stand out with the mix once you added some bass. So that doesn't apply for all songs obviously, just the songs that are a little bit lower and a little bit more bassy, then you can add a little bit more bass to your vocals to make it match the uh, mix. So let's listen to the without. And this is with the EQ. It sort of adds more, um, it sort of adds more dynamic range and uh, clarity out of this voice. So the third effect that we're gonna apply on the effect rack is uh, re Studio Reverb, which is an effect that a lot of singers like. And basically what reverb is, is um, think of it as like echo. So if I were to use my preset, so I'll have you guys copy this down. So um, what this does is it adds um, echo towards the vocal. So if I have it set at 100%, you have the appearance of, you know, having a lot of space and things like that. And if I set it to zero, it sounds more claustrophobic. So what you're adjusting with the reverb, once you have all these copied down, is just the wetness. The wetness basically basically explains how much of this effect is being applied on this vocal. So I usually have this set at 20%. Now this will be dependent on the vocal that you're editing. So just adjust this and play around and see which one sounds best. So you want to make sure you don't want to apply too much, but you want to be able to hear it, but not like, and it's sort of annoying. If I have set, if I have had, if I have this set to 50%, 
It gets to a point where you can't really understand the vocal. So maybe around like 25, a little bit more than 20 would, would be fine. Okay, so that sounds pretty good. And now we're going to apply this. And that's pretty much it. We're going to go back to normalize again. Go ahead and make it louder. And so we have basically edited our vocal from this. Into this. Alright, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. And I hope this tutorial helped you uh, getting your singing ready and getting your vocal ready. And um, yeah, I'll see you next time.